Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you what is in my big blue box. If you haven't already seen my some of my other videos, go check them out. Um, I show you every time I say the big blue box, that means we are going to do something with Play-Doh. And we're not going to do anything today. We're not like doing anything. I'm just going to be showing you. Whoa. Sorry, it's annoying outside. I'm going to be showing you all my Play-Doh things that go in here. So the first things are these three molds. Um, one is a flower or like a piece of coral maybe, I don't know. And then a teddy bear. And then a butterfly or a dragonfly or something. Now I'm going to be showing you all of my tools. The first thing I have is this extruder. Um, how it works is you put Play-Doh right here and you can use one of these stamps and press down on it and it'll make a stamp and then you remove the excess and it'll give a shape. Or you can put Play-Doh in here and slide one of these through, um, these shape thingies and push down and it'll come out in whatever shape you choose but what happened was i don't know why but it doesn't work so i'll show you the stamps um there is a rhinoceros an elephant i love that one and a shark then we have a black marker i use it for a roller um, we have a fork and a spoon, but they're like fake. Um, not fake, but they're plastic. And it came with a, like, tea set or something. We have the top of a marker cap to make, like, little circle shapes. We have a Play-Doh tool that I got from a set. And then we have scissors, but I always use them for Play-Doh. Okay, now on to the actual Play-Doh. If you guys saw my intro, you sorry about my des messy desk, but here's all my Play-Doh. So, these, um, actually most of these are empty. <laughs> well, not most of them, some of them. These are empty, but I just keep the cans because, you know, like you can use them if you wash them out or something. We have... Red, blue, and yellow. And when I was little, I loved to play the drums. And when I was little, I got these, but it dried out. So I'm like, but it's like barely loud. <laughs> so it's like. Anyway, and then all of these are also empty. Are also empty. But one of them isn't. This one is actually, I just mixed two flavor, I mean, <laughs> flavors. I mixed two colors and I made this, um, like light purple, kind of like my shirt. It's a little darker, but anyway, um, yeah, um, that's why I kind of use those. I mean, this is kind of a pinkish purple and this is purple. So I just put... If I mix them, I put the color that I mixed to the closest, like, color. And now let's go to the big stuff. This is what I use for my Play-Doh challenges. We have hot pink, orange, um, green, light blue slash turquoise, dark blue, And purple. Okay, and then I have these tiny ones. This was actually a 10 pack, and I bought those separate. Um, those about each can was a dollar plus tax, probably five cents. So, um, how many do I have? I got six cans, so it would probably be like six bucks and 30 cents or something. 
This was a 10-pack for either 5 or $10. I think it was like... Actually, I think it was $3. I don't know. But you get these tiny cans. You get... Uh, hold on. Because there's like a situation. There you get... It looks like these are exact, the exact same color. In real life, either this would be neon pink and this would be like hot pink. Or that's red, but it just doesn't look like it. Here's what the inside of that Play-Doh looks like. It's all smushed because I already used it. And so actually, that's kind of a neon orange. Can you tell? I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's actually kind of a neon orange. But it just looks hot pink because this is hot pink, so it looks like that. Yellow. Here, let me get the orange or whatever. Here's the difference. It looks pink, but it's actually neon orange. And then we have orange. <laughs> Yellow, I might have already said that. Um, again, light blue and dark blue. Kind of a minty green and then just regular kind of neon green or something. Um purple and black so those are all my things in the big blue box which is my play-doh thing um number one this is actually um as you can tell a lego box but my bro my brother got it when he was little and he lost all the pieces <laughs> so you know Anyway, so, I don't know, I just want to do my Play-Doh things. Um, I'm going to do another Play-Doh challenge, but comment down below if you would like me to do one every week. Um, because I'm thinking about doing a Play-Doh Friday, like Play-Doh Challenge Friday, or Play-Doh Tutorial, or Play-Doh something. Just play with Play-Doh Friday. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing that. Comment down below if I should. Yes or no? Please say yes because, I mean, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing Play-Doh challenges and stuff. That just means can I do at least something about Play-Doh every Friday if I don't forget. Because <laughs> I might make it, I think, I think I'm making a schedule video um, in a little bit. I'm not sure, so... Comment down below. Don't forget. Um, shout out to Angelica Padilla. And shout out to all my other channels. Just go check out another video. And you'll hear them. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.